Hey everyone, you're here with Goran from Pig Dogs, and you are here for your free picks from La Liga on Saturday, February 4th. Uh, four games on the schedule, guys, and uh, we are kicking off at 8 a.m. between Espanol and Osasuna. Uh, in the meantime, uh, subscribe to the Pig Dogs YouTube channel, guys. Hit that like button, we do appreciate it a lot. And of course, check out the rest of the free picks after this video. Uh, like I said, we are kicking it off with this Espanol versus Osasuna matchup. Uh, two teams of fairly even quality, I would say, but uh, Osasuna has been far more consistent this season. They are in the ninth place uh, with 28 points, still fairly close to the Europa League spot. Uh, however, they simply don't have a lot of offense and they are averaging less than a goal per game this season, which is something you need uh, to have more of if you want to compete for Europe. Now, I'm not excluding that they will not get there because... Uh, who knows, maybe their offense will show up all of a sudden. Uh, it is the, their defense, actually, that it has been keeping them in the top half of the table. And they have conceded only 18 goals so far this season. Espanyol, on the other side, has a bit more offense than Osasuna does. However, their defense is not nearly as good enough. And uh, luckily for them, they have been in, in a fairly good form as of late. They have lost only two of their last six games. And uh, they are now facing a team that uh, wasn't as good on the road as they are at home. Now, I think that uh, this is going to be a fairly evenly match, uh, matched game. And uh, I simply don't see either side having a big advantage right now. Which is why I decided to go with the first half draw in this one, minus 105. Usually we are seeing this price at plus 120, 130 or so. Uh, which means that the books are kind of expecting it as well. And uh, minus 105 is still a very good price to take. And uh, that's what I'm going to go with here, guys. So, uh, Espanol Sasula, first half draw at minus 105. Uh, Villarreal is traveling to Elche. And uh, this is a bit of a redemption spot for them since they lost in their last game. Uh, it was 1-0, if I'm not mistaken. And they conceded a late goal. Uh, it was against uh, Rayo Vallecano at home. Uh, which was quite disappointing because they are a much better team than the Rival Ricardo is. However, uh, Villarreal has been fairly inconsistent as of late and uh, they have sold the Juba now, uh, which is kind of significantly reducing their depth in that attack again. Uh, Elche on the other side is the weakest team in the league. They are at the bottom of the table, only six points. They haven't won any of their last six games, still without a win at home this season. And uh, I, I just think that Villarreal is a much, much better team here. I know that they have been in a bit of a slump. I know that Elche has not lost to Villarreal in their last four home games, but uh, I mean, the quality difference is pretty big between these two teams. And uh, like I said, I believe this is a bit of a redemption spot for Villarreal. They will go for the win here and uh, I think they will get it. So I'm taking Villarreal on the money line. The price is now minus 159. Uh, there is some money coming on. Uh, on Villarreal and uh, I would snag this price before it goes any further uh, down so I'm not gonna try to push this game with goals or minus one or anything like that I'm simply gonna stick to Villarreal money line because I don't have a lot of confidence in them right now but they are playing against the weakest team in the league here so I'm gonna stick with uh, Villarreal on the money line in this one guys Atletico Madrid is hosting Etafe, guys. Uh, that's, uh, that's a 12.30 p.m. game. And uh, Atletico Madrid is the home team here. They are now in a very, very, very good form. Uh, they did sign a few players in this January transfer window. They have beaten Osasuna uh, last weekend 1-0 uh, on the road, which was a nice win for them. And uh, before that, they have beaten Valladolid also in La Liga. And they had a few positive results as well. Getafe on the other side is now uh, on a pretty big losing streak. They have lost their last five games in a row. They are not looking well. They are in the relegation zone. And uh, even, even though they are still fairly close, close to the safety, given the form they are in, I'm not sure they can expect some positive results in the next few games. Offensively, they have got a good team. They have scored only 16 goals in 19 games. Their defense is not the worst in the league, far from it, but it's still not a good defense with uh, 26 conceded goals. Athletic Madrid is scoring quite a lot right now. Uh, they need a win here to stay in that Champions League spot to get closer to Real Sociedad. And uh, honestly, guys, I think they will get it. I think that Athletic Madrid will have a very good game here. 
and I think they can complete shit. So I decided to go with Atletico to win to nil minus one twenty. You can see that the books are expecting it. Books have zero faith in in in, in Getafe right now, especially in that attack yet. And uh, we know that Atletico Madrid is one of the best defensive teams in the world. Uh, they at, at least they used to be, but they still have a lot of uh, those players uh, from a couple of seasons ago. So. Atletico Madrid to win to nil by the small 20. That's my pick for this one. And we are closing out the day in La Liga, guys, between uh, Real Betis and Celta Vigo. Should be a fairly exciting matchup. Uh, Celta Vigo still very, very close to the bottom of the table. Only one point away uh, from the relegation zone. I just... In some games, they look like a superstar team. They are creating chances, scoring goals, but they are still averaging less than a score goal per game. They have only 18 goals in 19 games. Luckily for them, their defense was a lot better than it has been over the last few seasons. However, they are still missing a lot of offense, and now they are facing this very, very good Betis team. The team who lost against Barcelona uh, the other day, yes. But uh, they had a lot of great chances in that game. They were very dangerous. They are a very capable team. And uh, if I had to choose a side, I think it would be Betis definitely. Because they are the better and the deeper team here. But uh, I decided to stay away from goals. I decided to stay from sides here. I think that Betis will be the dominant team here. And that will force uh, Celta Vigo to be a bit reckless. And uh, to make some fouls. And uh, they do not shy away from that guy. So... Uh, Celta Vigo over 2.5 cards, minus 129, I think this is a slam dunk. I wouldn't be surprised if Celta gets one or maybe even two cards in the first half alone. And uh, in case they concede a goal or something, I think that that will get even worse for them. So I'm taking Celta Vigo to have uh, at least three cards in this game. The price is minus 129. Uh, I think this is a very good pick and uh, I definitely might look a bit deeper into this one and uh, use it as my preview for the day. That's it guys, four games in La Liga on Saturday. Uh, there are a lot more free picks up on the Pingas YouTube channel, so tune in guys, uh, subscribe, keep those notifications on so you never miss the free content, and of course hit that like button. That's it guys, enjoy your day, and uh, I'll see you soon with more free winners.